Hey guys, King Jad here. Welcome to another video I wanted to make when I came across DSP saying something back in December of 2020 during his Christmas stream, his Christmas marathon or whatever. Um, yeah, and he says he, he basically said he's broke. And I kind of thought, hi on a second, you weren't broke. We know you weren't a broke boy. We've got the bank leak data. So I took the piece of piece bank leak data. I made my own little spreadsheet just so I kind of broke it down easier. You'll see what I mean very soon, but first of all, let's get a full context of what DSP said and why I am deciding to put coals all over this bullshit narrative once more. So here we go. Okay. Merry Christmas, Phil. Can you talk about some of the reasons the console launch was such a disaster? Would you put more blame on the retailers than the manufacturers? Do you think Sony and Microsoft purposefully created a shortage to increase demand? Seems unlikely to me that they missed their projections for customer demand this badly. No, I don't think that it's anything artificial. I think the demand is an all-time high because of the pandemic. Normally, if we weren't in a worldwide pandemic, people would be going to sporting events. People would be going to bars. People would be going to stores. People would be going to restaurants. People would be spending their income on other things. But because everyone's stuck at home in a lot of places all around the world, what can you do at home? You can watch TV and movies, or you can play video games, right? Or sit on the internet on your phone, you know, rage tweeting and shit posting all over the place. Um, and by the way, a lot of people just do rage tweet and shit post all day. I see it. it's pretty pathetic. But outside of that, video games are at an all time high because of this year, because of the pandemic. Okay, so I feel that demand was actually possibly bigger than they thought it was going to be. <clears throat> I actually think that maybe some of these companies thought, oh, you know, these consoles are going to cost like $500. People can't afford that in the pandemic. But you got to understand there's people sitting on income and you have nothing to spend it on in a lot of cases. People who have money want to spend it and can't because they can't go out. So they've been saving up for this. And by the way, um, by the way, spending $500, $600 on a console, all right, when you're broke, some people see that as a value. They do. I'm broke, but if I drop $600 on a console, now I can maybe get Game Pass, and for $20 a month, I get unlimited entertainment versus having a nickel and dime and pay $20 to watch a movie. You know what I mean? Um, some people actually see it as a long-term investment in value. Even though they're broke, they'll still spend the money for the console. It's based on hype. It's based on many factors, okay? Um, no, I don't think it's Microsoft and Sony saying, oh, I thought there would be no demand. I think it's just there's monster demand. Monster demand. And they just couldn't make enough. You know what I mean? Like, in the current worldwide climate of how things are with the pandemic, they could not make enough. That's that's, that's enough, Phil. Shut the fuck up. Basically, his kind of thing was like, I can't afford this console right now. I'm broke. Like, I like how he said he tripped himself up a little bit. Let's go back a wee bit there because it's a wee bit where he did trip himself up when he was talking. Let's see if I can find it. I kind of came after... I kind of came after this, so... ...was actually possibly bigger than they thought it was going to be. <clears throat> I actually think that maybe some of these companies thought, oh, you know, these consoles are going to cost like $500. People can't afford that in the pandemic. But you got to understand there's people sitting on income and have nothing to spend it on in a lot of cases. People who have money want to spend it and can't because they can't go out. So they've been saving up for this. And by the way... Then I go straight away, he kind of realizes he kind of caught himself into a trap there because people are going to okay, so Phil has been saving up money as well. He's trying to immediately wreck on that little trap if he, he fucking set for himself there. He's like, oh shit, I kind of walked and talked myself into this kind of little trap. I better tell my viewers I am broke. So he's like, oh crap, hang on, but wait a second. I just told people I've got money and I've been waiting to spend money on because things are all closed. Um, by the way, spending $500, $600 on a console, all right, when you're broke, some people see that as a value. They do. I'm broke, but if I drop $600 on a console, now I can maybe get game. Yeah, is there. I'm broke. I'm broke. DSP's words there. I'm broke. So he, he didn't have the Xbox Elite at this time, or whatever the fuck it's called these days. He got that gifted to him, and honestly, apparently it was an honest like, gifted to him in July of 2021. People call bullshit and that, who knows. But I thought I'd break down Phil's finances, because it's what I love doing. So this is from December the 1st. To December 24th, when that stream was. That stream was December 24th, 2020. And of course there's multiple parts to it, but that's just the one part I want to pick apart. And so I took the, the, the bank leak data and I broke it down specifically. And I was, I was quite methodical with this, and I'll explain my process for it. So Twitch, YouTube, 
is at least 7,639. We don't actually know how much he earned on Twitch because that was a straight $5,000 manual transfer. We're assuming it's round about that figure. But that's just obviously all we can do. And then YouTube payment was $2,639.85, which is the total of these two combined. It had a random credit of $2,000 of mobile banking deposit, and then he had three random credits of totaling up to $1,830.34. So he had all this um, income here. The credits also surpassed the debits. But if we broke, no, say, this is what I'm saying, we break down the debits. I had over $2,000 just on Apple iTunes alone, which is WWE Champions right there. PayPal's a bit tricky. I know it's just easy to assume PayPal means WWE Champions as well, but most of these PayPal debits, those are actually made up of two large $500 each um, debits. We don't know what the hell they're relating to. They don't look WWE Champions related, which is why I've not factored PayPal into you know this kind of extra money shit. I wasn't sure what these PayPal payments were, but I still logged them. Of course, there's still debits that happened to him, and we can see that. Hanging out can incorporate different things. It's, just, it's not just DoorDash. It's also Starbucks, which is like 10 bucks, and restaurant visits. And in this case, he only had one restaurant visit. I take it, well, I didn't actually go to a restaurant. It's basically the grabbed food somewhere. Taco Bell. Everything aside from the Starbucks and the Taco Bell is DoorDash stuff. So, And that's quite a lot of stuff, obviously. $421 combined. For all that, for pigging out, Amazon was just like one singular Amazon Marketplace purchase, as well as him spending money on Amazon Prime. Totals that. Bills is an interesting one. So, Bills is his normal internet, not business. I didn't, I, business class internet is part of his business expenses, so I put it down at the bottom. But I'm internet the mortgage, the condo fees, the water bills, the car payment, the medical payment, gas, electrical, even taxes. I wasn't sure what was business taxes and what was just normal taxes so I put all the taxes under bills because I guess net is taxes are normal bills. If I could have done business taxes in here, if I was smart enough to do it, I would have done it. Business expenses is gaming uh, gaming purchases, uh, web posting because that's basically for his business as well and business class internet which is why it total is $386. Him getting a goofy ass haircut uh, Six three dollars as well on there. Total wine. He went and visited three different times. Total in this amount. Shopping can include groceries as well as retail, and all together at seven hundred eleven dollars, which is still a lot of money he was spending in less than a month just throughout December. This is mind of what is also a busy time of year for buying things for people, but that is mainly grocery shit. You know, it's buying groceries, and most of that money was from just going to like Fred Meyer, or whatever, or Costco, or whatever. Those like normal groceries. It's incredible to spend so much money on groceries and yet it's still pig out all the fucking time as well. So yeah, you've got $9,484.95 worth of debits from December 1st to December 24th. And you've got almost all and a half grand coming in as credits. And also we're not entirely sure these are three random credits that got put into his account. It's possible there were manual transfers on his part from tips. Because obviously he was still he was still on Twitch at the time. So this could have just been him transferring money from his PayPal to Twitch. We don't know. And so I thought, okay, let's have some fun with this. DSP is saying I'm broke, even though at this point in time, throughout December, he has still got some money sitting there. And it's one of those things where it's like, let's pretend he doesn't play iTunes. Let's put not I play iTunes. Let's pretend that he doesn't have a gambling addiction in WWE Champions. So if iTunes was not a factor whatsoever, instead of having almost $2,000, extra, he would have had over $4,000 extra. Now let's pretend as well that he's not an alcoholic, as well as having no iTunes stuff as well to spend money on, and no alcohol, that would leave him with $4,253.99. You can't forget $0.99. Cents. And let's pretend as well that instead of just pigging out all the goddamn fucking time, he actually fucking just ate the food that he bought from grocery shopping. So that would leave him with four thousand six hundred and seventy five dollars and forty cents. 
So that's just three little things that DSP could have done to have had all this extra money, this disposable income at his disposal. And as I'm saying, he could have bought himself an Xbox, a new, a new Xbox for himself comfortably if he wasn't addicted to WWE Champions and if he wasn't kind of an alcoholic. All these little things that DSP could have done in his life to have made that Christmas far more enjoyable for himself and maybe for a cat, who knows, if he feels generous enough. Instead, though, He's also got all these little vices, he has money, he has to spend it, and it's one of those things where it's like, you just see where it all goes. You know, you can see it in the bank leaks, obviously, you see the fucking individual transactions all the time, but if you tally it up and just lay it out like this, imagine if he wasn't addicted to fucking WWE Champions. Imagine if he wasn't such a greedy little fuckboy that had to pig out every chance he got. Imagine if he fucking wasn't splurging so much money in random grocery shopping. That's, I'm, I'm sure so some grocery shopping is essential. But the fact of the matter is he spends a, not a, it's a... It's an extraordinary amount of money he spends on groceries and it doesn't make much sense to me. And Total Wine as well is the obvious one. Like imagine going to a specific alcohol retailer to get some booze in and you're spending almost 200 bucks a month. This is obviously not even the month, this is also most of the month. Not even sure if he went there again in between Christmas and New Year's, he could have. It's, it's unreal, it's quite unreal. And the internet as well, that's the incredible thing about the internet, you know, because obviously he's got two separate lines, a business class, and uh, the normal standard internet line for the rest of the house, it's, it's unbelievable. There's so much extra more money DSP could have had at his disposal, it wouldn't have been a, such a stressful time for him. He wouldn't have had to go into his fans and go on I'm broke. Instead, DSP is DSP. He delivers as usual in the whole begging front. It's never enough for him, but I just thought I'd make this wee video, uh, show this information. I had fun, a little bit of fun making it. Oh, it took me like 10 minutes to prepare this information. And uh, yeah, I quite like how I broke it down. So business expenses, as I said, just literally everything I could think of it is actually business related. Like the business class internet and the web hosting, as well as the gaming expenses, like PlayStation Plus. Um, but it was, it's just the way I broke it down. But these are definitely all the debits. All com combined, this is every single debit that happened between December 1st and December 24th. It is nine four eight four and 95 cents. So that's the difference they had beforehand. But no, that's what, no, so this is the difference he had beforehand uh, if you take off the fucking debits from the credits. And this is how much extra he could have had if he wasn't, no, if he wasn't DSP. But DSP is DSP and that is why we love, ex you know, making dumbass videos like this and just poking holes in a narrative and just reminding everyone, his fans and detractors alike, how much better off he could be in life if he just wasn't such... No, oh, if it wasn't DSP, I guess. I don't know. That's not an easy way to screw it up. But I'm going to end things there, guys. This has been King Jazz. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out.